Well, I've had some people ask me for a fleet update. So here's the $100.86 B10 that I got, oh, probably 13 years ago and loaned it out and it got destroyed. So it has been a parts donor ever since and it is continuing to donate parts. Then over here we have another B10. That's a 64 early B10 with a B12 seat pan. That is another 64 B10 that I just picked up last year. That one's going to get plucked out of there, gone through, gotten running, and that is for a uh, buddy of mine, Mike. And then, of course, we've got the tow behind deck with the engine. There's the engine right there. I need to put another tarp on it. And this is a deck that will go on that. Here's the hitch for it. I've got four Sunstar decks, four or three 48 inch and one 60 inch. So, and everything I'm showing you is just stuff that I own. My leaf back, poor old sad thing, still runs great. Log splitters poking out over there. Still runs great with that off the shelf harbor freight. And now we're going to come up to <clears throat> the sun stars. This is the command powered that does not charge. I'm Mr. Cook. I'm going to Willie. I'm going to double check the um, stator as per your instructions. And thank you for that. Then we've got my mower. And this is the Sunstar that does not have high or low or diff lock. Still has power steering, has the 60 inch deck that came with the zip loader. This one is Briggs 18 powered, Kohler Command 20 horse, Kohler Command 20 horse, Kohler Magnum 20 horse. That zip loader, as we know, is going to be going over on that one. And we've got the legacy blade, the five foot legacy blade mounted to the Purdy Sunstar that will be getting DOS zip loader. Now we're going to take a walk. It took me a while to get everything out. <laughs> and again, this is everything that, that um, I own myself. Now this is the one that we shoved an engine in and got it running and drivable and all that and then work stopped on it because the season came in. Lights aren't hooked up. They're there, but they're not hooked up. Uh, it's got a 16 horse uh, with no points, so electronic ignition. And this is the one that was turned into a hydrostat by my buddy Biggie Rat. He got done with it. He was done playing with it and said, here, you want it? So he gave it to me as a rolling stock. And I put the engine in it and got uh, everything else going on it. But it has a Sunstrand Hydro. Pretty cool, isn't it? So we know the running boards are coming off of it. The foot pad, the regular foot pad's going to be going on. I've got everything for the front grill to get the front grill to match the rest of it. Um, it's been stretched four inches because of the uh, Sunstrand Hydro. And this is not a new old stock seat. This is a recovered seat that has that has been riveted around the edge. They did a really nice job on that. And of course, we all know Ugly Alice. All know and love Ugly Alice, right? With its high-low and its rear PTO, its mid-PTO, its... 16 horse, it's big bug eye lights, it's Mac Dog, all in all of its glory. And it's getting semi retired, not retired, retired, just semi retired. That's why I'm putting this B12 together the way that I'm putting it together, is because it's going to help Ugly Alice take it easy. It has, Ugly Alice has served me very, very, very well over the years. This is the one that we're, we have done. A good bit of the video series on we're not done um, I'm done but the videos are not there are more coming out you just notice that there's headlights on it and that the headlights are working I do not have the tail light on it yet but it's getting one more thing added to it 
possibly two more things. That one thing definitely is getting added to it, and we'll show you that as we go through the uh, collection here. These are my five dollar um, rummage sale tires. They're Carlisle's. They are 24 by 12 by 12s on wide rims. Uh, I just for five bucks, yeah, I'm I'm your Huckleberry. They've got tire sealing in them. They're older tires. They've got a little bit of dry checking. Of course, we've got our monster 24 by 13 by 12 sitting right beside them. Also Carlisle. Um, on these are the black ones that were on Trader, and this is the 64th uh, Garden Mark Squire, known as Engine 44. Uh, this is a clone. It is not an original. 64 Squire, but and this is the fastest one in the bunch with a little three and a half inch drive pulley as opposed to the stock six inch drive pulley. See the size of that pulley there, and then we come over here. Eedle itty bitty guy, this thing scoops. And then of course the first large frame that started the whole thing for me. And I talked to you guys about light brackets. Uh, which you will see coming up in videos so i just wanted to show you what the landlord bracket looks like and then what a b10 or a squire bracket would look like and the b12 bracket is a little different um it it's a it's a weird one uh we're not going to make one uh we're just going to make do with what we've got and get a light mounted to the back so i've got front and rear lights and then we move on down and we have the 2210 that had originally come in for a transmission replacement and then the gentleman decided he's going to take a different path so i went ahead and paid it i bought it off of him and starts runs does everything it's supposed to do with the exception of having that nasty broken axle but that's okay because sitting over there poor old forlorn 64 landlords donating its transmission to this tractor and this tractor will be right as rain it just flat out ready to go uh, then we have you guys have seen this before it's my craftsman um, it is the hydrostat craftsman if there's contention about exactly what year it was made so I just won't even bring it up it was made when it was made they are rare they are hard to find I have a tire that has decided it's going to lose its seal on uh, one of the beads, so I've got to pull it in. This is the one that I had the seat recovered on, but I retained these two panels, which could not be replicated, and then all the rest of the vinyl is new, so I had that done. This one is in super, super, super nice shape, and it's going to make somebody a very nice uh, tractor. Then we have the Wheel Horse um, Raider 10 that I picked up that we looked at the engine on. And E-Rock, if you are watching this, please email me. Um, you said you had a couple of coils. I'd like to get those coils off of you so I can get that 10 horse back in this. Right now it's got a 14 horse Predator in it. Uh, starts, runs, drives mows does everything it's supposed to do it just has this really big engine in it <laughs> then we have my little loaner mower it's the simplicity 637 yeoman that i've had for 10 maybe 11 years um, pull start only never fails to start just fires right up and then of course trader came back to me and this is uh, an engine that my neighbor and friend dave gave me that I got running that um, the gentleman Gary that got trader off at me decided he wanted to put on it and then he put a hand crank um, pin on there so it could be hand cranked this engine starts and runs and does everything it's supposed to do but we may since we've got a couple of them go ahead and throw a twin back in it and uh, resurrect trader in some form or fashion and we have not reached the end yet. And we have the um, 
stump grinder and I just pulled it in the shop and ran it for a little while started ran, ran did everything it's supposed to do I'm gonna put a put the flywheel with the bits and the knives in it on it and I tackle a couple of stumps before the season's over so we may get some video footage of that and I also wanted to get everything out of the way so I can get all this grass cut down because it was ridiculously tall so I said we're not done yet because if there is something missing that has been parked there for about two years these two are not mine this one here is Gary's and uh, it is up for sale <coughs> if you guys if anyone's interested in the uh, central Indiana area it is a International Cub Cadet 1650 Hydrostat starts runs drives mower deck runs great in fact it's got new uh, spindle bearings and everything in it it's ready to go um, and if you contact me via email I'll give you the details on that you guys may remember the Murray the Murray came back because it's throwing the belt again so we've got to take a look at that a little bit closer now we're gonna come up that one thing that is missing over there was the power king and it is not gone it is right here um, it still has a broken connecting rod in it this is going to be going in the shop for uh, an engine rebuild slash refresh slash repair and once we get it up and running and ready to rock and roll uh, I might just move it on down the road so that someone else can enjoy it. It does not have the two-speed trans, but it does have a full sleeve hitch with hydraulic lift. Uh, and it does have the Economy Power King 60-inch deck on it. And, of course, electric PTO and the front mule drive. And this one is powered by the 14-horse Kohler that... The oil didn't get checked on for seven years and it blew up so that's that so we've almost reached the end we have one more to go it's another b12 that's right this one's been hiding from you guys this b12 has a high low that high low is going on grumpy uh, we are going to go through this one we're going to see if we can't get this one up and running and serviceable and ready for a new owner um, it's not one that i need and i am going to be getting rid of some so when this one is ready uh, it'll just have the standard six inch pulley on it there will be no high low on it i guarantee that i'm hanging on to that um, but this one has sat for a very long time I do not think it has ran for a very long time it is a barn find uh, there are two decks that come with it one is a parts deck and the other one needs parts from the parts deck it has still has all four of its original hood bolts uh, even though it's got a lot of surface rust um, it is still wearing all of its original paint it has its original b12 seat pan um, it may or may not be a good viable tractor just by going through the engine and servicing the rest of it and freeing up a bunch of stuff because it is stick stiff and sticky everywhere but um, it does not appear to me as though it has had a hard life at all uh, there's not a whole lot of paint missing off of it yes the dash has a lot of surface rust but that white paint that they used um, this that, that's very common uh, in fact ugly Alice's dash looked about that bad and I four aught steel wooled it and there's actually there's paint underneath all that um, but that white paint just didn't do it justice um, front grills in exceptional shape it's in really good shape no dents no missing pieces uh, it's got both of its side pieces of trim 
Um, it's a complete tractor, just as it would have left the factory, as a matter of fact, with the addition of the high-low. And the high-low does go in and out. So that's the last in the group. So let me do that real quick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. The B10, early B10, makes 17. The other early B10 makes 18. That is, sorry about the wind, that is way too many tractors. So things will be going, uh, things will be going bye-bye. And I'll be sure to let all of you guys know when things will be going bye-bye and what will be going bye-bye. Um, but for now, there you go. There is a walk-around of the tractors. Yep, yeah, buddy. There's a couple of them. Huh. All right. Appreciate all of you. See you on the next one.